Casper. Oh, I still need to get the fish, don't I? Mm-hmm. Okay. That is loud. Yes, it is. so loud. This doesn't look like a large mouth bass. This one back. Wait on Jake. Well, we probably should have had him go out before. Probably. So lay down. Go. Very many people. There we go. Looks like 19 inches to me. Finally. Alright, now that I got that, let me go take him. Yeah, I'll go see if he needs to go out, so it might be what he's. Alright, I'll take care of it. Jake, come on, let's go out. Tired. Better than doing all right. Hi, Nikki. Your Animal Crossing. Very nice. Very nice. How's the Animal Crossing going? Yeah, that'll work. Ah, 
Hello. Ah, all right. Hello. Hello. Of course, he's being a snot and not chewing it on his bed. Whatever. All right. Truman, Rudy hosted, and then Rudy and Nick here talking. Huh? The Troom and Riddy hosted. Oh, okay. And then Riddy and Nick here in the chat. Gotcha. <laughs> hey, Riddy. Hey, Nicky. Nope. Gotta go back to the print shop. Okay. Other way. Other way? Yep. Where am I going again? The print shop. Oh, print shop, that's right. Let's see what you got in there. How about that? That's alright, Nikki. No worry, Nikki. Just rest yourself a minute while I get those wrapped. There you go. Ten dozen tickets to the annual orphans benefit. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go make a telephone call. To your brother-in-law? Yeah, the one who used to collect stamps. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Okay, so now I go up top or to the home for orphans? Uh... No, you go back to the... The thing all the way up at the top? No, to the telephone place. Oh, Turner Telco? Whatever? Yeah. Titusville Telco. There we go. You got those raffle tickets for me? I sure do. Great. And here are Mrs. Sheldon's bridge cards. One of the gas is all over. But I can warm up real quick. Let's not tell Mrs. Sheldon, okay? Okay. Thanks for your help, Mr. Kelsey. Thanks for your help. Bye now. Now I go... Yeah. Now back to the orphans? No. The yeah. upper corner? Got it. Uh, isn't there a cow blocking this? No, this is the right way. So now I go back to. Now I think we're done. So we can go back to the. I should probably get gas though, shouldn't I? Yes. Okay. I should probably check things off, shouldn't I? That's done. I'm finished. That's done. I'm finished with that. Can't check that off till it's done. I'm finished with that. Check. I haven't done that yet. Can't check that off till it's done. Can't check that off till it's done. I'm finished with that. Check. 
done that yet. That's done. <laughs> Check. That's done. I'm finished with that. I'm finished with that. I'm finished with that. Check. That's done. That's done. Okay. So this is the trivet. I don't remember where we're at. Don't know either. We gotta talk to her. Oh, Nancy, I'm afraid there's been more trouble. Don't tell me something else blew up. It's Emily. She. Oh, this is silly. I'm her guardian. I should just make her sell this place. She's only 17, for Pete's sakes. She should be out meeting boys and going to parties, not trying to run a business. Miss Willoughby, what happened? Just go ask her and make her tell you everything. Jane told you, didn't she? Not really. That picture on the wall over there, I saw it move. I was just sitting here and it moved all by itself. I saw it move. I really did. Last week, a book fell off the shelf for no reason. And before that, I heard these weird noises. And almost every day I hear a voice. A whisper. Coming out of nowhere. Jane has its nerves, but I... I don't want to talk about this. Did you see Jim Archer? I'm afraid I don't have very good news. The jewelry wasn't insured? Your mom dropped the insurance in order to save money for... Shh! Did you hear that? Hear what? Shh! Nothing. I'm going to have to stop it in our life. You know, it's possible, just possible, that the will that was found was not the will Josiah wrote. <laughs> you mean, he may have left us money after all? No, that's wishful thinking. And I refuse to get my hopes up again because they'll probably just get dashed again. Listen, I yeah. Enough yeah, it got really loud. Nothing. Really fast. Would you mind if I stay for a while? No, but I really don't feel like being sociable right now. There's nothing for you to do. I'd like to try to figure out what happened to that jewelry. <laughs> what are you? Some kind of Sam Spade? Well, just because I've never solved a mystery before, it doesn't mean I can't. Anyway, there's no harm in trying, right? Who knows? I might turn out to be good at it. Be my guest. Did Josiah ever say anything about hiding his will somewhere? No, but he was always hiding stuff. I know because he was always writing reminders to himself about how to find it. But whenever <sighs> his will came up, he'd just say he was happy knowing we were going to be happy when he passed on. Time will tell. That's all he'd say. Do you have any idea where Josiah may have hidden a safe deposit box key? He could have hidden it anywhere. He always said his favorite hiding place was right under people's noses. I'll be back in a little bit. You're the bee's knees. <laughs> what could have made this picture move? Is this your sewing machine? Actually, that belonged to my mom. Oh she god, that's right. I have to do the sewing too in this, don't I? Uh -huh. But she, she never got the chance. <laughs> 
So, what did Emily say? Did she tell you about the pictures and the voices? How long has this been going on? For about two weeks, I guess. You know what? I'll bet it's me. I'll bet it finally hit Emily that I'm just not Gloria and I never will be and that running this place is always going to be all up to her. And it was just more than her poor mind could bear. I'd like to kind of look around. Is that okay with you? You betcha. And keep an eye out for those tools. The sheriff's not going to investigate. He said since nobody got robbed at gunpoint or anything, coming out here again just didn't seem necessary. Said it sounded to him like the jewelry had just been misplaced. You see, I, well, it only felt fair to tell him about Emily's, you know, delicate state of mind. Well, I'll talk to you later. Don't take any wooden nickels. <laughs> Over there. Huh? If I were stuck in the couch. Looks like this lever opens the couch. From the looks of those lanterns, I'm not the only one who's been down here recently. An old piggy bank. Swell, a dollar. This piggy bank looks like it's been here for a long time. <coughs> what was that? Oh, this one again. I wonder if those tiles are supposed to make a picture. this one because I can never tell what it's supposed to look like. I think that's right. <laughs> Corny's creeper. <laughs> Is that what it's actually supposed no. to be? No, it's Piggy's Corner. Okay, that's what I thought. Messing with me. <laughs> I 
it kind of looks right. Oh, wait. Here we go. There's the rest of his hand. That's not right, because this has to go over there. Sounds like upstairs people problems to me. Hey, Indio! I'm downstairs people. Hey, Indio! So that part's right, that part's right. No, you do have to flip the pieces around. Hi, pro. Hello, pro. I think this one's actually supposed to be over here. Nice. Alright, so I think those are fine. I think these two just need to be swapped. No. Oh, wait, yeah. That's right. You think? Yeah. That'd be cool. That way you have everything. Is there any other games we wanted? Uh, let's see if, if there's any of the unlock games or anything you want. Right. Sorry. Do they still have it in stock? What? Game? Oh, this? it was just a warning choking answer. Got it. Yeah. <clears throat> so we have Life of Monopoly. Yeah. Oh, wait, is this? Yeah, that's... There we go. Derp. That symbol reminds me of the one on that trigger that used to belong to this side. Oh, we can't buy the rust. What? We can't buy the water versions. Oh, you can't? Discontinued for shipping. Ugh. Could get sorry. Sorry? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Guess I better not leave the lights on. And you wanna get Jenga too? When do you start that, Nikki? That would be awesome. Guess I better not leave the lights on. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, bard bounce.
how do I do this again? Oh wait, I think... Yep, got it. Keen. Looks like I need to get the bird from one side to the other. I hope so too. That was easy. I keep my fingers crossed for you, Nikki. What's cooking? Where did that bard bounce game that's in the parlor come from? Do you know? It only says Josiah Crowley brought it in one day and just left it. Said it was so guests, as in him, would have something to do while they waited for a table. <laughs> Sorry, I'm cracking my thing open. No problem. As long as you keep your fingers crossed for me getting a job. <laughs> well, I'll talk to you later. Bye now. I have been getting my unemployment though, so that's a bonus. Look at my life this is. Hmm? What? Life. What about life? I was looking it up and it's expensive. Oh yeah. Is the clock in the parlor the one Josiah gave you? Yes. I don't know why he gave it to us. It's never worked, and nobody can open it to find out why. Oh, it came through. So I'm getting it now. <laughs> Hi, Jake Felly. <laughs> I'll be back in a little bit. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get sorry off of Amazon and get the other thing from Target. Gotcha. Life, what I would suggest is we just kind of keep an eye out for Craigslist or something. Because they're always going up. Alright, let's see. Oh, I wanted to play the record. We need to write this down. I might have it written down in my journal. You have it written down? Possibly. Well, just in case. Smile on his face suggested that he was recalling his recent. 
Vincent's poor sign exploits. Seeing that the door was unlocked, I hurled it open. From that bottle of warthog potion, I commanded, and give me the twenty gold coins you stole from my poor servant. I'm not going to give you a thing. And with that, it's right in the ledge right there. Please and thank you. What? You'll grab him a card. Oh, yeah, give me a sorry. It's right on the ledge. Got it. I'm going up the stairs. Yeah, I know. So I ordered. Sorry, now I'm gonna order this. Fuck. Thanks, Anil. Does everything sound fine, by the way? Just out of curiosity. Cool. Thanks, Rady. Thank you, Nikki. Game audio seems a little quiet, but good. Good fellow. All right, cool. That's done. Check. That's done. I haven't done that yet. Done. Can't check that off till it's done. Can't check that off yet. I'm finished with that. Check. I haven't done that yet. to go to the jeweler.
Hello, are you Mr. Waddell? So what if I am? I found this receipt, and I just wondered what you could tell me about it. Let me see that. One key, German resale value, item 493. Oh, yeah, this was for that key Jim Archer wanted me to appraise. Jim Archer wanted you to appraise a key? It was very ornate, had jewels all over it. Fake jewels, as it turned out. When I told him it was worthless, the cheapskate refused to pay me and told me to keep it. Do you think I could have it? Sure. Once you pay the appraisal fee... Which is... A dollar and fifty cents. <sighs> Here you go. Good. Here's the key. Enjoy. Okay, so I got the key now. <laughs> Hi, Anna. Hi, Anna. <laughs> we were waiting for you to come so we could you should could see the Jake you know, cam. The yep. You walked out of here, something occurred to me. You're Carson Drew's daughter, aren't you? <laughs> Guilty. We went to law school together. <laughs> Only he actually went into law, and I wound up here. So how's he doing? Business pretty good. Great. Couldn't be better. That's nice. That's real nice. Well, you tell him you saw me, and you tell him I'm doing just fine too. So, what can I do for you? Oops. That was my bad. The key that you had Mr. Wardell appraised, could that be the key to the clock that Josiah Crowley gave you? It might have been, I suppose. You know about that? I found the receipt on the path to Richard Topham's house. Really? I thought I'd thrown it out. You see, when he told me the key was worthless, I lost all interest. Yeah, it's gonna be here by Thursday. It'd be all right if I kept the key cool. myself. I have no use for it. In fact, if you want that old clock, you can have it too. I guess I'll be going. Say hi to Carson for me. It would sure be nice to be able to open this thing. Oh, this fun thing again. That was someone message you? Was that on my phone? Or was that yours? No, I'm pretty sure that was yours. Oh yeah. Oh, it was Joe. What? <laughs> Nickel City. Did you tell him you moved? I'm going to just now. Give him a sleepy doggo. He likes the his new bed. We'll see. <laughs> It'll lock into place if when it's right. Doesn't use all of them, does it? No, I'm pretty sure it does. It does? <laughs> yep. Exactly. Ah, that one locked in place. Well, and he's had a walk, and he went outside, and so. He should be all good. That's why him, there we him go. is napping. Nope, there'd be a bigger one over here, too. Nope, that one locked in. Ugh.
nervous about talking to him. You'll be fine. I know I'll be fine. Fine. That one's fine. Well, that's not right at all. This one has to be right. Oh, they were specific. Got it. Three mirrors. I don't know if you need four or not. Is it just three mirrors, guys, or is it four? Well, I can find out pretty quickly. I just have to drive back. Did you open the shed already? No, I haven't opened it yet. But do we have all the... I believe so. Lois, Pony, Keen... <clears throat> That's done. Check. Check. You should have enough length on your thing. I don't remember though. My fancy fancy anyway. notebook. I don't remember where I put clock. I think it was closer to the end. I thought. Or I could be wrong. Nope. So, Keen, Omar, Pony, Lewis. I don't know if... Oh, no, that, that. <sighs> I'll go over by top ones real quick. Yeah, if you go... Why are we going to top Why? Why? Because I'm going to go check the notebook. Well, we got all four. We got. We got the pony when we played golf. Uh huh. We did the thing and it said Keen. Uh huh. We know her middle name. Is Lois. Yeah. How do we know Omar? Uh, I think that is in one of the conversations. I just wanted to check the notebook to see. Okay. Hello, Miss Drew. Hello, Mr. Topham. Cause wasn't it over here? <laughs> you don't mind if I look around, do you? Go right ahead. What are you in, uh, we'll pose the cat's, okay, yeah, got it. I just, I wanted to remember. Okay. Because we found the book on Omar, whatever. Mm -hmm. Alright, so... Pony. I think you gotta put them in in a certain order. So start with Keen. Oh, Keen? Mm-hmm. There we go. And then Omar. Pony. 
the lowest. Da, 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 da. Oh, I think the last mirror is in that thing. This thing? Hmm, something yes. about this clock reminds me of a poem I saw at the mini golf course. One, two, four, two, eight, two, maybe? Two, seven. One, two, four, two, eight, two, seven. Is that the reset? One, two, four, four, two, two, eight, eight, two. Seven. Yep, there's the fourth mirror. Got it. Thank you. You're welcome. It's over on the other wall. Oh, yeah, I can put down the mirrors now. Let some light in here, I might be able to reflect it off these mirrors. Oh, but I need something for this, don't I? No. Is that not right? Uh, I don't know. It should be. I think. tells me I need to adjust the mirrors so that the light bounces uh, off of them and onto that radiometer. So I need to rotate them? Yep. Click. Huh? Click back. We'll click back? Yeah. Got it. Okay. Yeah, it was fussy.
don't think that's right. It's supposed to light this thing up, isn't mm -hmm. it? Right? Mm-hmm. And it's supposed to hit all the mirrors, right? That one you can't move, but we can move this one. So. Or is it this thing over oh, here? Oh, maybe it is that over there. There we go. Yeah! And an animation arrival train. Yes, he does. <laughs> yep. Maybe I should ask Richard Topham if this crystal ever got delivered. with that. Can't check that off till it's done. Check. I've seen these symbols before. They were in that newspaper story about hobos. You didn't have to write that down, did you? What? I can't do anything with it right now, can I? Uh -huh. I didn't think so. I did, but yeah. Okay. So I did take a good look. I'm finished with that. Hello, Miss Drew. Now what? Do you mind if I look around some more? That was a dumb Again, question. I guess. Now what? Do you by any <laughs> chance know who oh. Marcel is? Marcel was what Josiah called his favorite hat. His hat? The man named his hat? He loved that hat, so to him, naming it made perfect sense. Do you still have Marcel? No, as a matter of fact, I gave that hat to Gloria Crandall. She said she was fond of the old fellow and wanted something to remember him by. Although I suspect the real reason she wanted that hat was to see if he'd stashed <laughs> any money in it. Josiah ordered something from the Krollmeister Crystal Company just before he passed away. Do you know if it ever arrived? You must be talking about that chunk of quartz that came last winter. I still have it right here. Why? Well, as a matter of fact, I'm a rock collector. Do you think I could have it? Perhaps we can work something out. You see, amazing as this is going to sound, oh. I am able to project my thoughts into another person's brain. Have fun. Really? The only really? Is not everyone has the intellectual capacity to receive my thoughts. But since you have already demonstrated a high level of intelligence, yes, you may very well be the ideal subject. Me? Really? You are going to help me prove that I am telepathic. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to shuffle a deck which contains five sets of these cards. Then I'm going to turn my back, draw a card, look at it, and start transmitting my thoughts. When you receive my thoughts, you will identify the card I'm looking at. Once you correctly identify five cards in a row, I'll give you that piece of quartz. But what if I can't do it? Just stay focused on the cards, and my superior brain power will do the rest. Very well, let's begin. 
What card am I holding? This one? That's not right. Here's another. What card am I holding? This one. Marvelous. Here's another. What card am I holding? This one. Wrong. Here's another. What yeah. card am I concentrating on? Concentrating the, the... square. This no. one. Incorrect. Oh, okay. You must circle focus. Lines. Here's another. What card am I holding? That should be the circle. This one. Very good. Well, you failed to correctly identify five in a row. Shall we continue? You bet. Ready when you are. Very well. Let's begin. What card am I concentrating on? It's the squiggly lines. This one. Wonderful. Here's another. What card am I holding? Circle. This one? Very good. But it doesn't good. change. Here's another. What card am I holding? I think it's this one. Marvelous. Here's another. What card am I thinking about? Square. Square? I think it's this one. Wonderful. Here's another. What card am I looking at? Star. This one. Very good. You did it. Well, actually, I did. But in any case, thank you for oh, your assistance. <clears throat> Here's the piece of crystal that Josiah ordered. Me, 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 me. <laughs> yep, pretty much. Yep. But Mr. Topham, I didn't really... I mean, you didn't really... I mean, I'm afraid it subconsciously you may have... <sighs> Yes. Never mind. Do you need anything else? Oh wait. There's only one other thing I have to say to this guy. If I can find it. Ah. Uh, oh whatever. I'm just typing. Was it that one? I don't know. <laughs> safe deposit box? Josiah no doubt lost it. He had a terrible memory, poor fellow. <laughs> what do you think is that in the safe stretches. deposit box? No doubt it's filled with the same thing as this house. Junk. But if it's junk, why haven't I gotten rid of it, you may well ask. Well, <laughs> you know it's silly to hang on to Josiah's For stretch. Things, but he was a wonderful Up a stretch! Master, and I just don't have the heart to get rid of them. Oh, sentimental for my own good, I guess. <laughs> It was nice talking to you. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> A little psychic humor. All right. Uh, so we get the quartz. <laughs> I'm finished with that. I'm finished with that. Okay. Try to remind me to do my carving. Carving. Gotcha. I gotta write that out and get it in the mail tomorrow. I'm finished with that. It's one of my last card payments. I'm almost done. Yeah. So excited. That'll help out too. I'll be done with that in June. Oh, he always has doggo dreams. Yeah, but not to, I haven't heard him tonight yet. Oh, tonight? No, last night he was making some noise. Yeah. What's cooking? What's well, cooking? You later. Alrighty, dighty. Alrighty, dighty. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna try to steal someone's fortune. Oh, Nikki, I need to send you a picture Hi, of my Nancy. calendar. Would you happen to know where your mother put Josiah's favorite hat? Look in the drawer right below me. That's where all mom's mementos are. I'll be back in a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Maybe this is the key to Josiah's safe deposit box. You don't need to look at everything in there, do you? Sorry. Yeah. 
Uh, if I remember correctly, Waddell's over here. Yep. Hello, Mr. Waddell. Well, I need for you to cut a blank Benzie from this piece of quartz. No big deal. Let's see it. The blank needs to be just like the one you made before for Josiah Crowley. Like I said, no big deal. You're gonna have to cough up two dollars, though. You can pay me when you pick it up. Good day. <laughs> Off to the telegram. <laughs> Oh, wrong place. Huh? Wrong place. Wrong place? Oh! Tubbies. Tubby's. Tubby's telegrams. It's all the way up top, isn't it? No. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Did you deliver that telegram? I sure did. Good for you. Here's your money. Money. And here's your next telegram. Take this to Counselor Alice out at Camp Avondale. Keep up the good work. Camp Avondale? Yeah, way out. To the right? Yeah. Uh, that's it. No, up. That's up. the observatory. Oh, gotcha. Camp is right there. Hi, I've got a telegram for a counselor here named Alice. That's me. Hang on. Oh, go right up, Jason. Jokester. Anyway, thanks. I'm afraid I don't have any money to tip you. That's okay. Have a swell day. Did you deliver that telegram? I sure did. Sure. Good for you. Here Jason! Oh, Jason at Mr. Jones at Bash's Camp Crystal Lake. All right, so I got two bucks now. That should. Well, why don't we do another? Another one? Just yeah, in case? just to be safe. Wait, where was I going with this? I don't know. It tells you go to the inventory. No. That one. This one. Fox Dairy. Okay, Bashes yeah, that's right over Dairy. here. Bacchus. Bacchus. I think the cow's there. Oh, wait, maybe not. Hello, I need to deliver this telegram to Mr. Jones. That's me, thanks. <laughs> I think that's the joke. But I don't have any money to tip you with. Huh? Wait a minute. She said it made me think of Friday the 13th. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Did you deliver that telegram? I sure did. Good for you. Here's your money. And here's, here's your money. This one goes to Miss Ross at Sunnybrook Farm. Keep up the good work. Sunnybrook Farm, isn't that up top? I think so. No, that's not the farm. A tank of gas left. I should gas up before I forget. Johnson's? No, Sunnybrook. Mm. Dang it. I still go. The right. And then up? Yeah, go up there. That's not where the cow is. Yeah, there it is. Hi, I have a telegram from Miss Ross. My name is Rebecca, and I'm only ten. But I'll deliver it to her for you, I promise. I won't let you down or double cross you or anything like that. Well, okay. Thank you, Rebecca. No sweat. <laughs> I mean, you're welcome. Do this and then Did you deliver that telegram? I'll get some I gas and then I'll go back for you. Here's your money. to get and the quartz. Deliver this to Dr. Bob out at the observatory. I oh, will be over by the observatory. 255. So let's get a quarter. Oh, we can deliver the one at the observatory. Yeah. That's Welcome down to there. Zippies, where we'll fill up. Fill her up. Just 50 cents worth, please. I started thinking of the Jason thing from uh, Heavy Rain. Yes, 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 I know. What? I picked at myself. Yeah, you're... 
Go heavy ring, that was a good. That was a messed up game, but good. I'm supposed to deliver this telegram to Dr. Bob. That would be me, thank you. Wow, that's a big telescope. Come back after dark and I'll let you take a look. You can consider it your tip. I may just do that. Bye bye. Okay, now we go back, get our money, and then. Get the. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Did you deliver that telegram? I sure did. Good for you. Here's your money. And here's your next telegram. Deliver this to Miss Temple at Lowood Academy. Keep up the good work. It's close. Hello, I've got a telegram for Miss May as well. I am she. We teachers don't get paid much, you know. I understand. Uh, did this by any chance used to be the Brewster Academy? Why, yes it did. Thought so. Bye. Did you deliver that telegram? I sure did. Good for you. Money to spend money, yeah, pretty much. Here's your next telegram. This one goes to Dr. Ackerman out at the Deep yeah, Mountain nah. Resort. Keep up the good work. That's right there too, though. It is? Yeah, it's up in this corner. It's right up over here? Mm-hmm. And there, yep. Down here? Mm-hmm. Hello, I'm delivering okay. a telegram. Deliver this, this one, then... I shall deliver it to the good doctor forthwith. He rarely tips, and I never, I never do. That's okay. Just Bye. the tip. Moving on. Yeah, we were back to half a tank. It's completely defeated the purpose. Hello, Mr. Waddell. Are you done making that blank? Have you got my fee? Right here. Good. Here's the blank I cut for you. Enjoy. Get my money. Does Wayne Brady have to choke a bitch? Good for you. Here's your money. And here's your next telegram. This one's for old man Johnson out at his farm. Keep up the good work. Okay. So now crap. Uh what? Oh, I want to go over here to double check the safe deposit key. Oh, we have the key. Hello again. I think I found the key to Josiah's safe deposit box. Really? I have it right here. It is from this bank. May I see if it opens the box? It takes two keys to open a safe deposit box. The owner's key and my key. And in this case, I'm under no obligation to open it for you. This is reading the dress. However, were you to do me a small uh. favor? Such as? I hired a seamstress to make a dress for my wife's birthday. <laughs> a mod wall. Unfortunately, the seamstress and I had a falling out, and now I need to find someone to finish the dress. Maybe I could find somebody. How much are you willing to pay them? Well, the fact of the matter is, the dressmaker quit because I couldn't pay her. I misled you before. Business is not fine. This bank is on the brink of ruin. <sighs> Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Mr. Archer. I wanted to get my wife something nice because, well, it might be the last nice thing she gets for a long, long time. Now, Emily once mentioned that Jane used to be a dressmaker. Say no more. Just give me the dress and I'll take care of it. I have it right here. The seamstress said that all the pieces have been cut out and basted together. All that's needed is a sewing machine. When it's finished, bring it back and I'll let you try that key in Josiah's safe deposit box. I guess I'll be going. Goodbye now. Alright. Good luck, man. Good luck, man? Uh, I think I did okay on this last time. I hate this. I can never... It takes me a couple different times to try. What's cooking? 
Since What's you used cooking? to be a dressmaker, do you think you could help me sew something? Me? So? <laughs> no, I can't. Sewing takes practice, and I haven't sewed a stitch in years. Whatever it is, believe me, I'd wreck it. They've gone down quite a bit. Then how about giving me some pointers? Uh-uh, no can do. Sorry. You are a freaking useless, lady. Well, I'll talk to you later. Alrighty, dighty. What's that? Is that a bird playing? No, it's five fingers to the face! Violence solves everything. Oh, yeah. Would it be alright if I used your sewing machine? Go right ahead, but remember, you're on your own. There's no needle. It's probably in the box with the rest of Mom's sewing stuff. Ask Jane if she knows where it is. Oh, come on. I'll be here. What's cooking? Jake. Would you happen to know where the needle for the sewing machine in Emily's room is? I moved all of Gloria's sewing things out of there and put them in a little box. Look, I'm supposed to get the pies we baked before ah, the the pies. this morning ready for the delivery man. They gotta be put in the shipping container just so or he casts a kitten. This is how he wants them organized. Now why don't you go out on the porch and get those pies ready to go while I look for that sewing box? Sounds good. Finish with that. I'll bet those are the two brothers that built the inn and Josiah's house. I'll bet this was taken in that passageway I found. There's something written on the back. I don't remember. Her. Oh wait, she gave me a list, didn't she? <clears throat> Sangue is two large cherry, one blue, one chocolate. Two large cherry, one blue, one chocolate. Sand gate's done. Oh, my <laughs> uh, do you have this written down? I don't think so. So. Nope. No. Okay. So one cherry, one small, one large, blue. <laughs> Upper yawn. <laughs> He's a sweetheart. Let's see. One small and one large blue. One small, one large chocolate. Get 
next. One small and one large cherry. Two small blue. One, sm one small and one large chocolate. Small one large cherry. Two large blue. Two large chocolate. One small and one large cherry. No blue, too large chocolate. Large blue, okay. Two same size cherry. Hey, Shroom! Hi, Shroom! <laughs> yep. There, that should do it. Got it. Thanks for doing the pies. The more I do it, the worse I seem to get at it. Here's that box. I'm sure that sewing machine needle is in there somewhere. I see it. Remember, when it comes to using it, you're on your own, kiddo. Well, I'll talk to you later. Alrighty dighty. Slap! Alrighty dighty. <laughs> what did the five fingers say to the fake? Slap! I know I'm terrible. Is the dress Jim Archer gave me, and I can start sewing. How do you move it again? I think you just pull it over. Oh, that's bad. Not bad, Miss Drew. Not bad at all. Nice job. I'll take it. Okay, I'm a crappy one. Hey, Ellie. Hope your house burns up. Da -da -da. Hi, Ellie. <laughs> I finally caught up with Chad. I get what you're saying now. All right, so now we gotta bring it back to him. Thank you. Eh. 
<laughs> How's the dress coming? All done. Yeah, all what up? Beautiful. Thank you. Now let's see if that key you found opens up Josiah's safe deposit box. That was Josiah's key, all right. But that is not Josiah's will. It looks like some kind of journal. Would it be okay if I kept this? If it was money or jewelry or something like that, I'd turn it over to Taco. But a journal? Finders keep it. <laughs> Freaking scared the Canadian, damn it. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> I'll be at my desk if you need me. Oh, this is the good fellow. It's locked, naturally. G O O F. Flute seven point oh two five megahertz. <gasps> That's who Josiah played in a Midsummer Night's Dream. Mm -hmm. Pyramus, 7.057 megahertz. Yep, I wrote these down. Cool. Bisbee, 7.050 megahertz. It looks like some kind of record of the people Josiah talked to on his ham radio. Anything else I can do for you? I guess I'll be going. Goodbye now. Yeah, it's over here. Did we get the... Did we look at the book? What book? In the... In, in, in the off... Like, in the thing off... We're in the house on top of him. So with this... Have we gone in? When he's not there? Yeah. No. Do that first? Um... I don't know if we have to try to... Talk to them first or not. I don't remember either. Should I try to talk? Oh, wait, hold on. So, do we snoop before we call them on the ham radio? Wait, how do I get the thing to come down again? You gotta pull the lever. Is it again. Bomb? What? The lever. Where the dominoes were. Oh, right. You just pulled the lever again. can do this because I thought we needed two quartzes, right? We mm -hmm. only have one? No, you just need the one. Oh. Looks like Josiah was a ham radio operator. Yeah. So... Don't get better. Just like these did. Nancy Drew. So where's Puck? Well, I'm pretty sure Puck's real name was Josiah Crowley. And I hate to say it, but he passed away earlier this year. 
Ah, oh, that's a shame. Heck, I never got to give him his sentence. His sentence? We'll see a while back. Puck dictated a sentence to me and told me that if and when he recited a certain passage from Shakespeare, I was to respond with that sentence. Weird fellow, that Puck. Could you tell me the sentence? Oh, no. Puck made me promise. I can only say the sentence after I hear the passage from Shakespeare. Is the passage from one of his plays? Don if I know. What if I figured out the passage? Would you tell me the sentence then? I suppose I could do that, yes. Is Flute your real name? No, it's just what Puck insisted on calling him. What did you say his real name was? Josiah Crowley. Strange. I never heard of him. Why is that strange? Now, he led me to believe he was this big cheese out in Hollywood. You know, some famous producer, director, or something. Said he owned his own studio. He didn't own a studio, and he certainly didn't live in Hollywood. I'll be done. So he was just lying to me. Well, that's all right. I may have told him a fit of three over the years myself. <laughs> like the time I told him I was a scrap golfer. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. In any case, you tell me the passage, I'll tell you the sentence. Until then, over and out. So now we need to go and get the book. Mm -hmm. Did we did we talk to Josiah about the book? Josiah's dead. Not Josiah. Tabo? Yes. No. See, I don't know if we the. Hello, Hello Miss Drew. Hi, Mr. Topham. Do you want to see my dungeon? No, what? I can make fun. Could I see that copy of A Midsummer Night's Dream you have there? Why? Well, you said it was Josiah's favorite play. I'd just like to take a look at it. It's a very old copy. I'd rather it not be handled unnecessarily, lest it fall completely apart. I'm sorry, Miss Drew, but request denied. It was nice talking to you. The feeling is almost mutual. Thanks, Square. Yep. He was watching at one point. Yeah, uh, he probably popped in to see what I was playing and saw I was playing anti Drew and decided not to say anything. You really it's really hard to kill her in this game, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I don't think there is a way to kill her in this one. Someone's watching me. Did you find the stairs that lead up to... Tavo? No. No, I didn't. Where were they? Oh, that's right, this one. Jeepers, I'm behind one of the walls in Emily's room. Oh, Nancy, why won't you die? Okay, now I know. I should ask Jane about the photo I found that allowed me to find that staircase that goes behind Emily's room. Talk to her first? No. Guess I better not leave the lights on. I don't hear anybody. Now would be a good time for me to sneak inside. Trigger, 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 trigger. Gotta find the dang mouse. Right there. Yori, be quiet. You're disturbing us. Oh, you can kill her here. Well, it's a second chance, not killing her. Yeah. Topham murders Nancy, buries her under the floorboards. Clear your mind of all thoughts. Think about nothing save that. Josiah food. must have circled these quotes, but why? <laughs> Something tells me I better write down all the stuff that's circled here in my journal. Uh. <laughs> yes, Mrs. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's okay if you do it. 
Where did we come up from? By the other way. Right there. Where? Right over here? Yeah. Oh, no. Look here? at the rug. Oh, got it. No, I didn't. Do what? Get the second chance. Oh. I could have just gone out the front door, couldn't I? Guess I better not leave the lights on. What's cooking? I think I know why Emily has been seeing and hearing strange things. Well, I'm all ears. Tell me. I found a secret passageway that goes from the inn to Josiah Crowley's old house, and off of it. I yeah. have a staircase that leads to a space behind a wall in Emily's room. That's the staircase that's in this old picture. You mean, the noises that Emily's been hearing, the things she's been seeing, it's because someone's been sneaking around behind the wall in her room? It may even be that someone is trying to scare her on purpose. On purpose? Who would want to do something like that? I was able to open the staircase because I saw the picture I just showed you. And I found that picture on the shelf in your podium. You mean it was right there under my nose? Hold the phone! You think I'm the one who's been sneaking around? Well, I did find the picture right there. But I've never seen it before in my life. Besides, anyone who's ever been behind this desk could have seen that picture. It's hardly fair to go pointing a finger at me. Maybe Emily will know something about it. She went into town to run some errands. At least that's what I told her to do. Heaven knows she could use some fresh air. Well, I'll talk to you later. Bye now. Snoop some more. What's cooking? Well, I'll talk to you later. Don't know why I did take that. Take any wooden nickels. is loud. Okay. Is anyone out there? Hello? Oh, I didn't write Can down you hear me? the lines you're supposed to I tell them. You? Yes, it's me. And I think I know the Shakespeare series that Pup wanted you to listen for. Let's hear it. You did? No, I just wrote down what they told me. Crud. No, that's that's all playing through here. Oh boy. I should have written it down. Sorry. No, we're good.
It's going to be towards the end. Shall we find... Find... Yes. Shall we either find pageancy? Is this... Is that for flute? Yeah, flute. Okay, click on that one. Don't you want to write it in your journal? No. Okay. Shall we there find pageancy? <laughs> Lord, what fools these mortals be. That's it. Here, let me check my logbook for the response. Uh, now I'm supposed to say... Leave by road when the owner is in, because then there will be thieves about. Leave by road when the owner is in, because then there will be thieves about? Those were Buck's exact words. Well, hope I've been of some help. Over and out. Alright, this one is seven... Five, seven. Seven, five, seven. I wish I could turn the other way. <laughs> Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? <laughs> this is Pyramus. Who are you? My name's Nancy Drew. Does somebody named Puck usually call you on this frequency? Somebody named Puck used to. Apparently he found something better to do. Haven't talked to him in months. That's because he passed away not too long ago. Oh. Well, that's a good excuse, I guess. How'd you know he called me Pyramus? I'm a friend of a friend of his. I found your name and radio frequency in his journal. So why are you talking to me? Did Josiah, I mean Puck, ever ask you to tell him something whenever he read a certain passage from Shakespeare? Whenever he rattled off the Shakespeare quote, I was supposed to rattle off the stupid saying he gave me. What did you know about that? Long story. But if I were to rattle off the quote, there's no reason why you can't tell me the stupid saying, right? Well, come to think of it, he never said the quote had to come from him. So, yeah, I guess I could tell you. If we shadows have offended, think but this and all is mended, that you have but slumbered here while these visions did appear. That wasn't it. And no stupid quote, uh, no stupid saying. And that means over and out. That was Pyramus. Oh, Pyramus. I was doing Thisbe. Sorry. Is anyone out there? Hello? Can anyone hear me? This is Pyramus. Is this who I think it is again? It's Nancy Drew. I'm pretty sure I know what that Shakespeare quote is. <sighs> Try me. Thou speakest aright. I am that very wanderer, wanderer of, of the night. night. How'd you know? Long story. What did he tell you to say in response? Wait a minute. I had to write it down. <sighs> Here. Oh. You're gonna love this. A poor dog would well to hold his tongue, tongue in a dangerous, dangerous neighborhood. A barking dog would do well to hold his tongue in a dangerous oh, neighborhood. Oh, itch. I told you. <laughs> I really appreciate your help. Just out of curiosity, <laughs> what kind of car did Puck drive? Do you know? I don't think he had a car. And he tried to tell me he was rich. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Doggo had an itch. This one is seven five oh. Thisbe, are you there? Hello. I'm Thisbe, but only Puck calls me that. Who's this? My name's Nancy Drew. I'm afraid I have some bad news about Puck. <gasps> oh dear! They closed the place. <laughs> too far down in the dumps. Oh, I was afraid it was something like that. Actually, you haven't heard from him because he passed away several months ago. Oh my. That's worse, isn't it? And after all that rigmarole he went through, making 
making sure I knew my line and understood my cue. Your cue? Yes, you see, Puck, or whatever his real name is, or was, Puck wanted to share his love of acting with me. So he gave me a line to say, a very curious line, I might add, and told me to repeat it only after I heard my cue. A passage written by Mr. William Shakespeare. So if I cue you with a passage, you'll respond with the line he gave you to say? Immediately. I know it by heart. <laughs> Here it goes. <laughs> Ears dropping. If we shadows have offended, think but this and all is mended. That you have but slumbered here while these visions did appear. <clears throat> the authorities are alert for bad water, so do not go this way. The authorities are alert for bad water, so do not go this way? That's what I was to say, although my delivery was much better when Puck was coaching me. <laughs> and now, as Puck was fond of saying, I bid you adieu. Over and out. Loot is a torture in a midsummer night's dream. Thank you. So that and this this be that 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 <laughs> yep. Yep. Can't. Wait, I think I screwed that up already. No. And then the one above it. This one and this? Yeah, the one right above it. Look right above it. Oh, okay, I got you. And then that one. And I have that written down, too. Well, hold on. Click on it. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we'll just do this. Missed a couple of things. He was nibbling at himself, too. A golf ball. No doubt meant to be used on that golf course of Josiah's. But you gotta take it anyway. There we go. Another safe deposit box key? Now we go back to the week. Yeah, no kidding. You've got to go talk to Emily. She's in a bad way. Did you tell her about the secret passageway I found? I never got the chance. Please, go talk to her. She won't listen to me. And no help at all.
just go back to River Heights, Nancy. Why? What's the matter? I took a nap after I got back from running errands, and when I woke up, this was in my hand. It's one of the necklaces that I thought had been stolen. I have no idea how it got there. I must do things and not remember. All this responsibility on top of losing I can't cope with it. What Jean call it? A nervous breakdown. No, you're not. I don't want to talk anymore. Go home. You're just making things worse. I don't want to talk to you. It's a trap! <laughs> Did you talk to her? Do you see what I mean? No wonder I never saw or heard anything. It was all in her mind. I'm not so sure, Miss Willoughby. What's more, I think I've found something that'll solve all her problems. I'll talk to you later. money do we have? 80 cents. Okay, we might want to put some gas in, too. Uh, where am I? Oh, I'm going to the bank. bank. Hello again. I found another safe deposit box key that belonged to Josiah. Impossible. Josiah only had one box, and you've already opened it. Can you tell me whose key this is? It is one of ours. Where did you get it? I won it playing golf at Josiah's with a special ball. I had to ace one of the holes. Why does that sound familiar? I know why. That's what Clara always called me, her ace in the hole. That's who this key belongs to, Clara Pickford. Yeah, pro, this is this particular one is set back in like the 1920s so, or something. I thought it was really Josiah Crowley in disguise. Apparently, he loved playing tricks like that <laughs> on people and hiding things right under their noses. what this is. Gloria Dowd, now Crandall, and Jane Willoughby, circa 1912. Jane Willoughby? That doesn't look the least bit like Jane Willoughby. No, it certainly doesn't. I better get back to the Lilac Inn and have a talk with her right now. Move out of the way, would you please? I'm kind of in a hurry. You're not going anywhere until you tell me who you really this is are. really loud. What are you talking about? I just saw a picture of Jane Willoughby, the real Jane Willoughby. It's been swell knowing you, sister. I just have to beat her to the train station, right? Well, follow, you gotta follow her until Nancy says you can't let her out of your sight. Got it. Whoop, I already won. I can't let Jane out of my sight. You follow her until Nancy says that she's headed for the state line, and then, yeah, you have to beat her there. Yep. This is the part I hate. This is endgame, though. I can't let Jane out of my Endgame high! Thank you. But she's heading for the state line. I know. I'll take a shortcut and hit her off. <laughs> Why couldn't you just mind your own business? Dear Ned, 
I know you'll be home from school in a couple of days, but I couldn't wait to tell you. I just solved a mystery. I figured out that Emily Candle's guardian was really an imposter named Marion, who intercepted the letter Emily wrote to Jane Willoughby after her mom died. She pretended to be Jane not only so she could steal Emily's valuables, but so she could convince Emily that she was in the <laughs> <laughs> and that she yeah. should sell it and split the money with her. On top of all that, I found Josiah Crowley's real will. In it, he left Emily so much money that she'll be able to hire all the people she needs to keep the inn going. He left Jim Archer a ton of money too, which means he won't have to close his bank. And from now on, he'll be able to buy his wife a new dress anytime he wants. As for Richard Topham, Josiah left him nothing. Although Topham still refuses to admit that he forged the first will and insists that he's going to contest the will I found. Dad says it's highly doubtful he'll succeed. And if he'd be better off sticking to spoon tricks. Anyway, when you get home, I'll give you all the details over a nice big piece of slightly damaged cherry pie. Wait till you hear that part of the story. As always, Nancy. Okay. You've been deducting the title of Puzzle Pro for solving puzzles at lightning speed. Free pass. Great news, I think. See, Trey and Joe Hardy have invited me to help them solve a mystery. Only this Thank you. takes place on a train. Oh, the shop. Not just any train. Shop. A train that was found abandoned years ago in the middle of nowhere. All of its passengers had simply vanished. Some people say the train is jinxed. Secret of Shadow Ranch. Yes. I mean, it'll be fun to finally get to work alongside the Hardy P -P -P boys. I just hope the trip My boots are below the gallows. <laughs> There's yeah. a note in there for you that continues as correspondence. Nay! Nay, I say! her name? Who? Girl in the store. In the store. Dressed up. Oh, Fatima? Fatima. P P P S. I'm still dead. I love you though. None of that PH stuff. Yes, it was Fatima. I like Fatima. Uh now, now, now what you say, what you say, I say, I say. Now get over here, boy. Nay, I say. Oh yeah, it's all solved. I said, I said. <laughs> Alrighty. We should probably call it a night because we're tired and exhausted and I've been working all day again. So have you. Just different types of work. House is unpacked. House is completely unpacked now, so that's a good thing. Yes. Everyone have a good night. Hey, Jake. You okay? Jake. Yeah. Say goodbye to nice people. Da -da -da. Just gonna stare at me. He's like, why'd you wake me up? Okay, I'll come and say hi. Hi, we you doing? Come here, buddy. Come here. This one's for Anna. Ah! There you go. There, he gets a nice dog. That one's for Anna. No problem. We're gonna keep doing that because it's cute. Alright, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> it's Jake the dog and Dirk the human. Yup. Alrighty. Alright, bye. Watch your head. Alrighty. You all have a good night. Night, guys. Peace out. Bye, buddy. Bye. Right. Good night, everyone. Peace.